Okay, so I got this little handheld console from Amazon, the 500 game 3.0 TFT 8-bit classic. So I thought I'd unbox it. Oh, a little card here, lucky card. Thank you for buying our product. Oh, got a manual here. Product and book. Oh, hang up, yep, there is English, product manual. Uh, all your typical stuff, don't dismantle it, don't do it stupid. Got a uh, charger cable there, the same type as a PlayStation 3 pad. A little cable that will take it to the TV. A little joy pad that's very much in the sort of Famicom style. And here is the unit itself. Uh, orange looking Game Boy. Battery in the back. Cheapish feeling plastic, but not the worst I've felt. 501 Contra. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Let's go to Super Mario Bros. Because that's one everybody knows. Just kind of like playing Mario Bros because it's a it's a nice one to test for the timing. Sam, why is movement wise it doesn't seem too bad at all? Although to record it, I do have to re play on the sort of cock eye. Apparently, this thing doesn't save, so there's no point trying to play like Final Fantasy or something on it. But I guess it's a case of what do you really expect for the money? In all honesty, this cost me £18 and I probably wouldn't bother with it. Because if you've seen my video of the POW Kitty Q90, that cost me like £30. And you can add games to it, you can play Mega Drive, SNES. This thing's just 500 NES games, and I bet there's lots of repeats on it. But it's, you know, it's not a bad bit of kit. Oh. Okay, I'll leave it there. K9000, thanks for watching. I'd probably avoid this, but you get worse. Bye.